Hi, this is Fred FR5ED, the five is silent, here with the first beer review of 2014, or 2014 as some may say. It is New Year's Day, and I am starting the year with Bengali Tiger, an IPA from Six Point out of New York, Six Point Brewery out of New York. Um, this is a fairly highly rated uh, beer. It's 94 overall, 89 in style uh, on, on ratebeer.com and that's after 582 reviews. And then on Beer Advocate it's rated an 88 which is very good and that's after 1,625 ratings. Um, it's 6.4% ABV so on the lower end of ABV for IPAs. Uh, all those TLAs, three letter acronyms. Okay, it's a pretty lengthy commercial description, so I'm just going to kind of skim through it. Basically, they're saying that this is reminiscent of the old English-style IPAs. Um, the, the writer's uh, perception is that current IPAs suffer from lacking substance. They're too hoppy, and there's not enough of a malt presence. So their interpretation, they use the highest quality floor-malted base malt, which lends to a full-bodied and rich caramel flavor. Mash at high temperatures, add generous amounts of specialty malts to further emphasize a strong foundation of malt. So they're talking a lot about malts. And when it comes to the hops, uh, they do use a generous amount of three different hops. Um, they use East Kent Golding hops to dry hop in the conditioning tanks. And I believe Kent, East Kent Goldings is a, you know, a British or English hop. So I'm expecting this to be, you know, much more balanced. Uh, and not a West Coast American style. It is listed out as an American style IPA, but I get the feeling that we're going to get a, uh, an English style. Now that's just from reading. I have no idea what to expect. Now I have had and reviewed their six, point, um, six points resin double IPA, which was very enjoyable. Uh, we'll look forward to having that again. But for now, and this is in a 16 ounce can, so it's a it's a generous portion. Okay, well, I'll leave some in the can. I don't want to fill up the glass. It is a 19 ounce glass, but I want to leave plenty of room for aromas to develop and focus. Oh, that smells pretty darn wonderful. Uh, let me get back to ASTMO, the appearance. It's a nice, uh, nice bright orange. Of course, I've got the light of the monitor shining through here. Uh, but it is a nice bright orange and it looks pretty clear. Um, again, I think this initial haziness is simply from the carbonation. Nice two finger head, dense and holding in there. Let's uh, go back and smell it again. Definitely pineapple up front. Um, I almost expected, I don't know what yeast that they used, but uh, if they were leaning towards this English style IPA, I expected, you know, to, you know, smell something a little more like you know the Fuggles types of IPAs that I've had but it is mostly um, you know tangerine orange and more pineapple up front and as far as malt aroma it, it, it's in the background you know that that uh, the bready background smell but let's give it a taste plenty of hot bitterness I didn't quite expect that. Oh, forget about it. It's 62 IBUs, but again, and maybe because this is a lower ABV, here we go, there's three letter acronyms. Lower ABV, the IBUs seem to be more pronounced. Um, not over the top, though. I think it's still balanced. It's on the dry side, which I also didn't quite expect. I, I thought it might be a little on the sweeter side with an emphasis on the malts. So they must have fermented the heck out of all the malts. So body, body, you know, mouthfeel wise, medium, you know, it's not thin, it's not heavy, you know, so it's in, in the middle there. Um, definitely on the dry side and plenty of hot bitterness without being uh, out, out of balance. Not being bowled over by by flavor again it's got to it's got to warm up a little bit more but it's very drinkable um 
They say the essential oils from the hops are an enticing treat before every sip, meaning getting that aroma. Uh, notice the lacing of stripes around the pint glass, or 19 ounce glass, as you finish your glass. It's the mark of the tiger. How about that? Look at that. Getting the stripes of the tiger from the lacing. Okay, well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. This is Bengali Tiger from Six Point IPA. Give it a try. You may like it. This is Fred of our 5ED wishing you a happy new year and many more brews. <laughs>